This is another one of the components from the Starbucks kiosks. We've got lots of wire here. So we'll get this wire somewhat separated. Get the wire out of the way that we can get out of the way easily. It's all going to be number two insulated. Oh, that's interesting. That grant that clip. Wait a minute. Let me show you. Some of you have already spotted it with your eagle eyes or your shark eyes. That's copper. Isn't that cool? Put that with our number two. Looks like a VGA clip here. Plug. Of course, we know there were plenty of graphics on those things, so it makes sense that there's a VGA plug. Now, those are not gold-plated, so I'm not even gonna mess with putting those in with the gold-plated uh, connectors. My yard is good with me leaving connectors on my number two insulated, and there'll be a bunch of even though you're saying to yourself, well, that's just a plug, that's not the wire, but the wire's all right here, so it all balances out. I'm not ripping off the yard. Here's another one of those copper. And it's interesting because the copper was on the outer sheathing, the copper sheathing of this wire. So that was acting as a ground of sorts. This is also number two insulated. Now, we know that these were seven millis from the previous piece that we did. Yeah, we got a nice board there. should just come right off here. There we go. Little motor on a piece of sheet aluminum. Looks like we can put the Phillips head back on here. I'm going to check because that's aluminum and these screws have a stainless steel sheen to them. So let's see if these screws are stainless steel. Yes, they are. You can see that they flick right off. They're very lightly magnetic, which makes those stainless steel. And that kind of makes sense in, in this environment. If you had aluminum and uh, just a ferrous screw, it would corrode very quickly, um, especially as close as we are to the ocean. So in this case, uh, stainless steel made sense. Got some nice sheet aluminum there. Get our motor freed up, y'all. Yeah. That'll go in with our small electric motors. More wire.
more wire. Lots of wire here. All right. We need kai weeds on those. Here we are. Oh, uh, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. All right, this board is really nothing exciting. Uh, that's not even gold, that's copper there. So this is just a low grade board. Some sort of low power distribution kind of thing. Come on now. Oh, well let's check these screws, see if those are stainless. Yep, those are also stainless. So when I start digging into these and really going through them, I'll put a little bin here for all the stainless. Oh, that's interesting. So I don't know if you can see the way the wire is wound through here, but this is obviously a heat transfer pad on here. The question is, was it for heating or cooling? So you had that down on there. Uh, if it was a really cold climate, I could see where they might want to warm it a little bit, but this I'm thinking may have been for cooling, or probably the systems are designed to go wherever. So that may have been a heating pad, but it just didn't get used here in Florida. I, I, I can't see it getting so cold that they would need to have something like a heating pad here in Florida. Sheet aluminum. Getting a lot of good aluminum out of this one. It was funny when I, when the guys at the yard showed me this pallet, they said, yeah, you know, we feel bad that we know that every now and then you're getting just empty computer shells from us, so we thought this would make up for it, all the aluminum. <laughs> They're good guys. Good folks to work with. All right, so the BGA came up with the heat sink. That's unfortunate. Let's see what kind of... Let's see what kind of BGA we're talking about here. Gold corner BGA. Cool. And then there's the aluminum heat sink. All right, so. Peripheral high grade board, even with the BGA accidentally coming off when I took off the heat sink, this is still gonna be peripheral high grade. You've got lots of IC flat packs on here, oscillators, man, not much. All these components are really tiny on this side, but um, gold plated pins. So I'm, yeah, I'm very comfortable putting this in with my peripheral high grade, just like that. Mm, let's see of this hardware, how much of it is stainless. It's hard to do that because sometimes the ferrous pieces will cause the stainless ones to stick. All right, so that screw is not stainless. You are stainless. Now, I don't know how much trouble I'm gonna go through to break out the stainless. It really, you're not getting that much difference right now for stainless, so I may not even mess with it, but it's nice to know. Nice to know. All right, let's see what we got for this board. And these guys are They're also stainless. All 
All right, let's see. Get this wires off of here. So with the wires off, there we go. Now the board comes out a lot easier. Sheet aluminum. Another nice board here. Yellow tantalum capacitors, uh, some resistors, oscillator, flat pack ICs, gold plated, little tiny processor chip of some sort there. So, I'm going to throw that one in with my peripheral high grade as well. Doing really well with this, uh, with these Starbucks kiosk pieces. Very interesting scrap so far. The only major component that we have left to do is this aluminum box air handler looking thing. So that'll be fun to dive into. But in the meantime, check out these videos that the links are popping up for right now. And don't forget the round one in the middle is to subscribe if you haven't already done that so you don't miss a single episode. We'll see you on the next one.